feel your muscles. <laughs> well, we're living in strange times. We had a video almost ready to put up yesterday and uh, with an announcement from the government that we should all keep our distance and uh, just didn't feel right, did it? It just seems that everything is so serious all around us. There's so many people in real dilemmas and difficult situations. We didn't want to just put up happy, laughy, giggly us to <laughs> cruising around the canals. We will do it, but it just felt that we wanted to just draw thoughts together on what's happening, how it affects us, how it affects the canals and boaters. Um, and then maybe in a day or so we'll put the video up just as a little bit of light relief from all the stresses <laughs> around us. Yeah. We uh, had the car for the weekend and managed to get down to London and visit our granddaughter uh, for the second time only. Probably just as well we did it then because yeah. now the announcements have come out that you shouldn't be travelling. <clears throat> we probably wouldn't have gone to see her for ages. So that was good. That was good. And yeah. uh, really enjoyed our time down there. Had a nice little stay in a hotel massive bed it was huge wasn't it the bed was as wide as our whole boat wasn't it <laughs> but anyway it's... so we're back we've been uh, to b and q which is a diy superstore for those guys at uh, in foreign parts we bought loads of stuff haven't we to More paint sandpaper and whatever yeah. So at least if we're stuck out in the middle of nowhere for a little while now, we've, we've got no excuse for not getting this <laughs> wretched DIY done. There's, um, there's, a, there's a list of jobs as long as my arm. And we've also stocked up, not panic bought, because the, the shops are struggling enough. Um, you know, fit and healthy people are taking all the stuff that maybe the, the more needy might need. But we just wanted to make sure we've got enough <clears throat> for a couple of weeks. And we tend to keep uh, quite a good supply of dried foods. We've got lentils, dried beans, dried pulses, um, plenty of stuff. We did buy a nice big bag of fresh fruit and veg, which we'll make last as long as we can over the next few days, just not knowing what's going to happen. Um, but we've probably got enough dried and tinned food for a couple of weeks. I only have two toilet rolls, but we'll manage. <laughs> yeah, as we went into the supermarket, there was no toilet roll, no bread, no flour, no tinned tomatoes, beans, anything like that. So. No. What we have found, however, is that the smaller shops, the corner shops, still have stuff. So I don't think for one minute we're going to be running out of food. Um, but if either of us, if we're more up in the middle of nowhere and either of us get ill, we obviously can't really even go to the shops. And we haven't got anybody around necessarily to help us. So we just thought it was just best to have a couple of weeks supply so that if we are ill, we haven't got to talk to anybody. We haven't got to do anything, well, you know. Me. I don't talk to you anyway. <laughs> So that's as far as us surviving is okay. There's a lot of uh, conversations going along around the boating community about what um, this actually means to, for boaters. Well, Canal and River Trust have just said same as normal at the moment, haven't they? Just yeah. keep, keep uh, cruising as normal. Normal rules apply. If you're ill, you can obviously notify them and stay in your same place for longer. They give you an extension. But as far as I think we're concerned, we, if you've got to isolate, um, whether you sit in a house and don't talk to anybody, or whether you sit on a moving boat and cruise three miles down a canal and then moor up in the middle of nowhere, it doesn't make any difference. I can't see any reason why you would need to sit in one place um, unless you're ill. I don't, you know, you're still not talking to people, you're still keeping away and not, the whole point is to not spread this virus and if you're not making contact with people you're not spreading it. So I can't really see that much is going to change but who knows, there are talks, that rumours that Canal and River Trust could close locks and lock canals down which well, I think I would be... the point of that, do I can't you? see the yeah, point. It's just, that's just rumour. And if that happens we'd have to comply with it but uh, mm. you know in the meantime we're probably in the safest position that anybody could be on a boat, I think. Well, they can't shut the system down because then how would you get water? You, we, everybody needs fresh water and if they shut the system down and there's a water tap two miles away but you can't get to it. Yeah. So it's denying people of their basic requirements. But we have noticed, I've just walked the dogs along the canal this morning 
and it's very eerie out there a train went past i couldn't see a single person on the train um and even walking the towpath i met a couple of people dog walking and there's a sort of a are you all right to talk to atmosphere <laughs> between people um and a boat had just asked for some advice somebody on a, a higher boat had asked for some advice because he's doing the cheshire ring which is uh, closed at the moment and he wanted some advice and we offered him a map to look at and he sort of he wouldn't take it he went it, back as if to say he wasn't going to touch it so it is very odd out there at the moment but you know we're just thinking of everybody that's in much worse situations than us just feel for so many people who are worrying about their jobs mm. they've got mortgages to pay it's so scary really isn't it it's you know? the um it's the small businesses and then the self-employed you know they're the ones you worry about yeah, and the government's talking about bailing out the airlines, etc. Well, stuff Virgin Atlantic, they're rich enough, <laughs> you know, to give some money to the people. Last time we had a crisis in this country, it was the bankers that got all the money. And uh, poor Joe Bloggs had to suffer. So we'll see what pans out in the next uh, few weeks, stroke months. I've got a son that is, works in a, a restaurant um, and he just about manages to pay his rent from his, his restaurant earnings. Um, the chances are that he'll get laid off because that will close. And how does he pay rent? And you just don't know. So we might need a bigger boat yet. <laughs> so we just thought we'd have a chat and uh, let you know we're okay. Everything's fine. We're concerned about all you guys as well because our demographic for this channel is uh, us age and above. So just, uh, I hate this expression, but stay safe yeah out there. just i think all we can do is maintain a positive attitude do whatever we can which is obviously the the guidelines of hand washing keeping your distance between people keeping away from crowds that's what we will do and videos might be a little bit different for the next few weeks because we won't be walking off into bars and pubs and no. busy towns hopefully we'll get some off canal walks mm -hmm. um but it's all going to feel a little bit different and hopefully later this week Maybe we'll put up a video of what we have done in the last week or in the last yeah, week. We've got, I've got loads of footage. Uh, finally got the drone up, which is great and it works. And I think you'll all need a little bit of distraction at some point. Yeah. So we'll try and make it fun. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm looking for uh, a bit of distraction when we scoot around on YouTube, following the people we like to uh, watch. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, okay, everybody. Thinking of you all. It's hell out there. Stay safe and uh, look after yourselves and we'll yeah. catch you on the next one. Speak to you soon. Bye.